Hi guys, this is a reading for you guys for the 8th through the 15th. This reading is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. We're going to see what energy we can pull up for you guys and what you can possibly expect in the upcoming week, okay? This energy could be yours. It could be someone else's that is um, in your energy, okay? Let's see. What's going on with Cancer? In the upcoming week, the Ace of Wands there, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, there is an offer, I feel like, a new start on the table for some of you guys. This involves something very passionate here, King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. There's somebody that you're viewing as very controlled. Um, I feel like emotionally supportive, financially supportive, that uh, either you guys have your eye on this person or they have their eye on you, okay? This, pers this person is looking um, to the future, okay? Oh, this person's leery though, that you guys, hmm. This person's leery that they're afraid to get hurt. I feel them holding themselves back because they're thinking about all the possibilities, but the negative possibilities, the disappointment they may face. Um, you guys may cheat on them. And then we have the full Aries energy, Libra energy here with the Three of Swords. And these Libra and Aries are opposite signs. So I feel like whoever this is, is like stalling progress because they are in their head a little too much. But the other side of them wants to go ahead and step out on faith. They go back and forth. Gemini may be here as well. Okay. <clears throat> Ten of Pentacles, they would love to be in a committed relationship with you, but this person is like a negative Nancy is what I see here with that Three of Swords coming right smack dab in the middle. Virgo energy with the Ten of Pentacles. They see the potential for being very um, happy with you guys and having a stable relationship but they're functioning out of fear right now so maybe this is somebody that's been hurt they've been disappointed before and probably numerous times for them to feel like you know especially if you've given them no reason to to doubt that you guys would be loyal to them um, they've probably been in several relationships where or several situations where people hurt them okay please show me more about that ace of wands the judgment hmm they want to start over with judgment here is a scorpio energy they definitely want to give this a chance Somebody feels like this is it for them. If they give in and they, you know, do commit to you guys, I feel like this person wants this to be like the last time that they um, are in a relationship, that they fall in love, that they become vulnerable to someone. Please show me more about the King of Pentacles. The Page of Wands. As grounded as this person is, they are so afraid, as capable as they are, they are so afraid that they are going to make the wrong decision here. They are afraid. Please show me more about the Three of Swords. Then we have the Knight of Swords in reverse. They're keeping a closed mouth about their insecurities. Um, they're holding a lot back from you guys here. This is stuff they're keeping to themselves. Could be a Pisces. Um, 
individual here as well. Just kind of in their feelings and in their own head trying to reason uh, this situation out. Please show me more about the Fool energy. King of Wands. Hmm. Aries, Leo. I feel strong Aries here. Aries, Aquarius energy. <laughs> Excuse me. But I feel like this person, even though... Um, hmm. This indeed may be you guys here. Afraid to give this person a chance. Afraid to be hurt. Not really wanting to... Um, you know, allow yourself to be that vulnerable to open up because you, you kind of want um, some security that, you know, this is going to be it for you. You guys can make a go of this and you really can, like, be together for the long haul here. I feel whoever this person is that that you guys are dealing with or thinking about, this person feels your... What, what do you call it? They feel you guys in your reservations. They feel you kind of holding back. They probably share this same feeling with you of, you know, kind of want to be sure of this person or you guys before they actually jump into it with both feet here. Okay. Please show me more about the Ten of Pentacles. And then we have the Hierophant in reverse. Huh. Which is the opposite of the Ten of Pentacles. You know, this is something... <sighs> of course, in the upright, the Hierophant is something very traditional. Okay? It's marriage. It's, you know, having your own standards and basically sticking by that and trying to share your standards with others or share what your beliefs are with others in reverse is something very non-traditional. Hmm. You know, it's like... This may be somebody that is different from people that other people that you've met okay and just because they're different doesn't mean that um, they're any less good hell they may be better than most of the people that you've met and that's why some of you guys are thinking that um, you want this to be the last time you want this to be it this is what you want judgment here with the ten of pentacles you want this to be it you don't want to start over again So there's something about this person that's different from, from anybody else that you've met, I feel. But there's, there's something in between the two of you. There's a lot of heartbreak between the two of you. There's a lot of holding back, not really speaking your mind, speaking the truth in between you guys here. A lot of silence. You probably are talking, but you're not talking about... Um, the things that really matter is what I'm feeling here, okay? So, Aries, Leo, individual, Taurus, I feel like is here, Aquarius is here, Virgo, um, Scorpio, energy. Okay, guys? So, that's what I have for you, and I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now.